I'm going to show you my layer namer script. So this script batch renames layers. Uh, I'm sure, as you can see by my timeline here that I'm sharing with you, we encounter all the time just batches of layers that are just really hard to manage because they have the default name that After Effects gives, whether it's a shape layer, a null, solid, uh, whatever, you name it. So this was one of the first scripts I created a while back. It had an older UI, and now I'm bringing it a fresher UI with a little bit of added features that we'll go over here. And um, it's really a simple tool, so it's not too complicated, and I'll get right into it. You can see our scene here has a bunch of different shapes. It has, um, you know, some texture, uh, you know, maybe some interesting stuff if you find it so. But uh, as you can see with our uh, timeline here, we have all these layers with the same name. Uh, funny enough, I've actually named these with my script. So there are some pretty... Um, I guess, sophisticated layer renaming tools out there. Uh, Zap Renamer by Hyperbrew is one of my favorite ones. If I want really complicated, um, if I want, if I have a really complicated solution that I need to be done. Um, and there are some other ones too that I'm not, uh, that I don't use, but I'm sure they're good on their own right. Uh, yeah, so for me, I wanted a simple one for my own workflow, and I think it works pretty well. So let's get started. So I am going to um, launch my script UI here. See a K or KM layer namer, and we have a just run down the UI with, with you real quick. Uh, we have our layer name that we put in. We have our separator. You know, it could be a dash. It could be really anything you want. Two dashes, pluses, underscores, a start number, which is really helpful. Um, so if you want to start from one or zero or ten, it's up to you. And also an iteration override, which is actually what I use to rename all of these. If for some reason you wanted all of your layers to be named the same thing. I don't know why you would do that, but there's that option because uh, someone asked for it at one point. Um, so yeah, let's get started here. So I'm going to select all of these layers. It looks like these are um, some stars in the background. So I'm going to call these stars. I'll keep the same separator, and um, I'm not going to enter a start number and hit rename. So as you can see here, it starts from 1 through 7. We have all of our stars named. Awesome. So I'm going to select all these purple layers. Uh, just by selecting their label color there. That looks like squares to me. So pop up this UI, and let's see here. I'm going to call these uh, squares. I'm going to have my separator be, um, I don't know, let's do, we can do plus plus. And let's start with the number five. Awesome. So as you can see, plus plus, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this was all based on the selection order. So After Effects can get weird sometimes depending on how you select things. So let me just undo that real quick. I'm going to shift select right here. Uh, just so it's a bit more organized. Squares, uh, plus, plus, and yeah, start with five, right? Cool. So starts from five going up to 11. So I'm going to select all of these orange layers again. Um, cool. Those are circles. And let's see here have a circles uh, separator. I'm going to leave it blank. Um, and then start number. Um, actually, I'm going to put, actually, I'm going to do iteration override just to show you what happens here. And I rename. And as you can see, it keeps the same name. Um, I don't know why you'd want to do this again, but again, this option is here and it's kind of stowed away. So it doesn't um, get in your workflow too much. So now I can just quickly go through and just rename these, um, again, just to organize some things. I'll say, I'll call these tries. Um, I like to use dashes and start number. Maybe I'm starting from 10. Start 10 through 16. Cool. Um, and then one last one with, see, I'm going to shift select these and add this one. So knowing that the higher number is going to be down here. Um, let's launch my UI again. You bring it over here just very um, easier viewability. Uh, these are, I think these are septagons, if I remember correctly. Uh, septagon, and um, I'm just going to do a space. Um, and enter start number, we'll just do start by one. Cool. So you can see it has a space here, and of course that one's the last, but, and it enumerated it for us. So yeah, I hope you find that this layer namer script could be helpful for you, or, um, or maybe you find a more sophisticated tool for your needs. But I always recommend naming your layers, organizing, staying uh, tidy in your project files because, again, it will save your sanity and everyone else who you work with, it will save their sanity too. 
Um, but yeah, if you run into any issues or have any questions, please let me know. And I'd be happy to fix anything for you.